What's this? Hey, it's Leon. Leon, you made it. Claire, is that you? Where are you? I can see you on the monitor. But never mind that right now. Leon, you have to go back and get Sherry for me. I left her in the security office. Please, you must save her. Wait a second. What are you going to do? Where are you going? I still have a few loose ends to take care of. I'm counting on you. So Leon was in front of the power room that will unlock in Scenario 2. So since Leon's got Sherry getting Sherry from the security office, we don't have to go back there. Alright, let's go ahead and activate this. And that's not gonna work. Ha! Huh, more rounds! What's this? Uh, a vaccine cartridge. set the cartridge. Alright, and this is where you activate it. Alright, we've got the base vaccine. Now we need to go all the way back down and do it on that machine. everything but those plants anyway. Wow, tried to whip, rip me off right there. Alright, I gotta go make the vaccine first. Don't need the lock pick anymore. So 
So now we got the vaccine. Now it's time to get out of here. Alright, time for the acid rounds. Alright, stock up on health because it's the final fight. Five minutes until detonation. Pretty easy. <laughs> and I'll oh wow, that was the last acid round. All right, and that is it. Always be with you. Claire. Sherry. <laughs> we know all too well that's not the true ending. <laughs> There's more to it. 
But yeah, uh, so once again, if you guys ever, if any of you played Resident Evil 6 before Resident Evil 2, now you know why Sherry has her special healing abilities in Resident Evil 6. It's because now she permanently has some of the G virus within her, so she has that power. So that's how that comes about. Now you know the origin of that. Alright, so that's the end of Claire A. <laughs> and once again, I had way too much ammo. I'm a little bummed out that I didn't use it earlier. It made it easier on myself in some cases. But whatever. But hey, we got one more scenario left before we are done with the regular story of this game. And that is the Leon B scenario. And there's a, there's a few events that make this game my favorite. So I can't wait to do that scenario. But for now, I'll go ahead and let you guys watch the credits because I can't freaking skip them. So enjoy. see what we get. I won't be surprised if I got an A. Yeah, of course. Ooh! I beat it very fast, too. I beat it under two and a half hours. So I actually might get a reward here. Maybe. So I got the infinite rocket launcher. Ha. I'll get less points though if I use it. So I'm not going to, cause might as well get the A rank all four scenarios, right? <laughs> so yeah. And wep Le Leon has a lot better weaponry anyway, so I don't need the rocket launcher. All right, I'll go ahead and save that. Uh, down here. Alright, so there's Claire A for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that Let's Play. And I can't wait to start the next one, because it is my favorite scenario, and there's a lot of events that make this game my favorite, as I said earlier. There is a specific cutscene that is my favorite in this game, and it's possibly my favorite cutscene in all of the Resident Evil games. It's just an awesome event. So, can't wait to start that. So, I'll see you guys next time in Leon B Scenario. Alright, this is Shanks294, aka the Gamer Shakester. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out.